maximize profits? Well, that's easy. We say that profits as a function of quantity produced is revenues as a function of quantity produced minus costs as a function of quantity produced. Remember, what was our goal that we laid out to start this lecture? It was to figure out what little q a firm chooses. Well, what little q a firm chooses is dictated by maximizing this equation. So a firm will choose little q such that dr dq equals dc dq. That's the profit maximizing equation. A firm will choose its quantity such that dr dq equals dc dq. Okay? That's a, or to put it in economic terms, that where marginal revenue equals marginal costs. The firm will choose to produce a quantity q where its marginal revenue, which is the revenue made from producing the next, selling the next unit, equals its marginal cost, which is the cost incurred by, selling the, by making the next unit. Okay? Well, in a competitive market, we know what DRDQ is. Because remember, in a competitive market, DRDQ is given to the firm by the market. In a competitive market, DRDQ, or marginal revenue, equals the price. The price is given to the firm. It comes from God in the competitive market. We'll, come, we'll talk later about where it comes from, but for now, let's consider it God. Okay? They're price takers. They just get some price handed to them. Okay? So in a competitive market, we know what marginal revenue is. It's price. So what this says is that in a competitive market, the profit maximizing equation is price equals marginal cost. Memorize it. Put it under your pillow. Okay? In a competitive market, price equals marginal cost is the profit maximizing condition. You will produce until the marginal cost of producing the next unit is equal to the price you can sell that unit for in the market. We can see what the profits you make are. Okay? So this next diagram, figure 10.3, illustrates this example. So what we have here is an example with cost curves for this cost function. Once again, 10 plus 0.5 Q squared. Average cost is that line in the middle there. That's the line, that's, that's the average cost. You have an average variable cost that's a line that's linear. Okay, an average variable cost that has a slope of 1. Okay, you have an average fixed cost that's everywhere declining because your fixed cost of 10 is everywhere declining as you produce more and more your fixed cost declining. And as I said, you have a marginal cost of Q. So your marginal cost of one unit is 1. Your marginal cost of two units is 2, et cetera. Okay. So this draws out the cost curves that correspond to that cost function. Okay, you see them drawn out here. Now, we also on this diagram have a demand curve. The demand curve is perfectly elastic facing this firm. It's a perfectly competitive market. And that perfectly elastic demand curve has, is horizontal at price equals 6. Okay? So what does the firm do? It chooses to produce where marginal cost equals price. Okay? When it produces where marginal cost equals price, then what profits does it make? Well, on each unit, it makes profits of the difference between marginal cost. I'm sorry. On each unit, it makes difference of the profits between the price and average cost. Okay? Now, it's an important distinction. We went over this in lecture and section again, but let me go through it again. Marginal cost is the cost of the next unit. Average cost is the average cost of all the units you've made. So if I make six units, what profit do I make? Well, on that sixth unit, okay, I make profit of like one in, a, it's about one in, one in an eighth. Okay, or one in, well, it's, it's eight divided by six. So... One in, one, in a, one, in a, one in a quarter, OK? I make profits of one and a quarter on that, on that uh, I make profits of one and a quarter on that sixth unit, OK? But I make those profits on all eight units I sell. So what that means is on, on, in total, I'm going to make eight profit of eight. The area of this rectangle is eight. Here's the key. You cannot choose a production level that produces a bigger rectangle than this. Okay? So if you produce seven, your rectangle will be longer, but the gap between price and average cost would be smaller. So your total rectangle size would fall. Okay? The largest rectangle is produced at a production level of six. That's the most efficient use of your resources. 
is when you produce at a point where marginal cost equals price. Because when you produce a marginal cost equals price, that causes the biggest, the maximum gap between price and average cost. 